Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Gregory Gage and this is going to be a review of this beauty right here. This sleeping beauty that was released by the Disney Store on Tuesday. I ordered it online and it's just arrived and now we're going to take a good, good look at this platinum set. Sleeping Beauty was first released on the 29th of July 1959 and it was Walt Disney's 16th animated classic movie. The film is set to the music of Tchaikovsky's Sleeping Beauty. Now everyone knows the tale of Sleeping Beauty, it's such a timeless classic. King and Queen have a baby princess, they invite everyone from the kingdom out for this amazing event. <laughs> except for one person, Maleficent. Maleficent obviously gets a little bit pissed about this, decides that she's gonna curse the baby to die. Little bit dramatic, but you know. Silence! Maleficent curses baby Aurora to die on her 16th birthday when she pricks her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel. Three good fairies though. Oh. Luckily there are three good fairies that are sticking around to help out the little baby Aurora. They change the curse from being death to sleep. The three good fairies, Flora, Fauna and Merryweather, they whisk the princess away into the woods, look after her for 16 years and then uh, lo and behold, Princess Aurora is walking out in the forest, picking wild berries. <laughs> Not knowing that she's a princess, meets the prince, not knowing he's a prince. They fall in love, they sing, they dance, la 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 la. She gets back to the cottage, the three fairies tell her, you're a princess, you can't marry that guy you met in the woods, that's ridiculous. And then they go back to the castle. I don't know why they did it this day, because they should have just gone back the day after her 16th birthday, would have made so much more sense. But, they do it, take her back to the castle, she picks her finger on the spindle of the spinning wheel. <laughs> Big shock, she falls to sleep. Then they decide the best thing to do is put everyone to sleep, because why not? And then, Maleficent has Prince Philip. Prince Philip escapes from the Forbidden Mountain where Maleficent has been keeping him a prisoner. She gets pissed about that, turns into a dragon. He goes and fights the dragon. <laughs> Kills the dragon, goes to Aurora, sees she's asleep, kisses her without consent. But in this situation, it's kind of a good thing, because if he didn't, then we wouldn't have a happy ending. He kisses her, she wakes up. La 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 la. They go and see the parents. The parents are like, oh, amazing, and they're all fine, and la 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 la. They're in love with each other. Fantastic, that's great. That's exactly what we wanted. Happily ever after the end, they dance off into the clouds, because dancing off into the clouds is a, is a realistic thing. But this is a fantasy fairy tale, so it's totally okay. So the thing about Sleeping Beauty is that we didn't actually see a wedding. So we don't have an idea of what her wedding dress looked like. We don't know what Prince Philip's wedding outfit looked like, but this is great for the Disney merchandising team because it gives them complete creative liberties to do whatever the hell they want for Aurora's wedding day dress. And that is what we've got here in this platinum set. Okay, so that is the tale of Sleeping Beauty. Let's take a closer look at this beautiful platinum set. Okay, so firstly it comes in this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous display box which is completely stunning. It's got this very, very gothic kind of flower outline here, which displays the entire front of it with a 60th anniversary Disney Sleeping Beauty. Uh, if you look really, really closely, you can see kind of straight through that clear plastic they've got there. So it's kind of like a really frosted glass kind of display that they've got on the front. So you can kind of see the dolls behind it, but you can't completely see the dolls behind it. But the logo is gorgeous. We've got Disney Sleeping Beauty, the Aurora and Prince Philip collector doll set. And this is a limited edition of 650 worldwide. I love they've got the repeated pattern down here of this little gothic style flower that's the same as this main one. And then there are these little, they look kind of like paisley pattern, if that makes sense. And it's all in this really, really nice pastel pink peach and if you look really really closely you can kind of see you can kind of make out a Sleeping Beauty castle in the background there of that pink logo front display design <laughs> I don't know how to describe it but you can see Aurora's castle right in there I think it's gorgeous what a lovely 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 display the back of the box has this gorgeous Sleeping Beauty design all over the back as well it's got the Sleeping Beauty logo there. It says the Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip collector doll set. Disney Store is proud to present the worldwide limited edition Aurora and Prince Philip wedding doll set. Revel in the classic story of enchantment, romance, and dreams come true. With carefully crafted details, the romance between Aurora and Prince Philip is beautifully captured. Beginning with Aurora's wedding gown, a gleaming metallic embroidery embellishments on her bodice and full skirt, a white chiffon flower decorates the center of her bodice, collar, and a gem encrusted crown and necklace provide a fanciful finishing touch. Prince Philip's ensemble features a flowing velvet cape, 
Underneath, his silver vest gleams with gold piping and sophisticated stud detailing. Striped puff sleeves and the metallic embroidered cuffs complete Prince Philip's charming look. Beautifully designed by Disney Store artists, this limited edition wedding doll set is a must have for collectors and fans alike. Now this retails at £500 in the UK, I'm not sure how much it is in Europe or how much it is in the States, but if you do know, let me know and I will update that information down below. The gothic window sort of display carries on throughout the design of the box. On the side we've got these gorgeous gothic style windows here, which really, really represent the windows that they've got on Sleeping Beauty Castle. If you've ever been to Disneyland Paris, it looks just like that with all of the windows they've got on that castle and it's the same on the other side there. And as you can see, there's like a crease going down here, which allows you to open this up because it's doors on the front. So let's take a look inside. The set on the whole is absolutely stunning. Aurora's dress is this gorgeous rose gold, which makes sense since her pseudonym is Briar Rose. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. She's got the most stunning face there. Really, really lovely. If we take a look at Prince Philip, he is very different to the original Prince Philip doll that they released back in the day. He's got a slightly different face mold and his hair has been done completely differently, so it looks so much better. Um, but to take a better look at this, I'm going to remove this outside bit here so we can take a closer look. But before we do that, the top of this, we have the Sleeping Beauty logo just on the top there with the matching designs on both sides of this. And it's, it's just stunning. I love the Sleeping Beauty logo. So let's open this up and take a closer look at these dolls. One of the really great things about these platinum sets is that this literally just slides off like so. And then I'm going to take this plastic off as well. So we've got the Certificate of Authenticity here as well, which is Again, absolutely stunning. It's this metallic kind of print on there, and it's a certificate of authenticity, the Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip collector doll set. This limited edition doll, released in 2019 by Disney Store, has been carefully designed by Disney Store artists to ensure every detail was captured. We hope you will enjoy this heirloom doll for years to come, and mine is number 206 of 650. So it's a relatively low number, which is Great. I think this is the lowest number I've ever had. Not that it really makes a difference. I would say it only really makes a difference if you've got 650 of 650 or one of 650. Love this. I love the design. Got the Disney logo up here, Sleeping Beauty logo here, and then it's carrying on with this floral goth gothic archway print design around the outside. Stunning. And then on the other side, we've got the French. I don't speak French. Let's take a good look at these. So, there is a slight problem with mine, and I will show you. Aurora does not have her crown attached properly. It looks awful. So this was one of the things that I noticed as soon as I opened the box. I was really, really sad about it. It's actually quite heavy though, so I can see how heavy it is because of the fact that it's not attached. There's a bit of string here that should be attached to her head and to this crown but it's not so I might actually have to return this one and change it for another but I could always just try and fix that myself but I don't want to have to fix anything it should be perfect anyway but let's carry on having a look okay so, so looking at Philip we can see that he's really had a change in his hairstyle we've got sideburns here which we didn't have before I think it was just a big mound of hair on the top of his head He's got these really nice hazel colored eyes. He's got thick eyebrows and a very, very, very Zac Efron High School Musical fringe. But the back of his head is so much better this time. The hair is done well. It's thinned out as it, got, as it gets lower. So this is a massive, massive, massive improvement from the original Prince Philip doll that we had. I like that we've got this little sweep of his fringe down to the side, which is stunning. His, his sculpt is really, really nice and it does look a lot like Prince Philip did in the movie, so I am pleased with that Prince Philip sculpt. I like that his eyes are kind of catching the light here, so you can really see that they are like reflective. He's he's a very attractive doll, let's put it that way. <laughs> he looks good, and he's got these really, really pale lips, and I think it's fantastic. Really, really does look like Prince Philip. So let's move down here onto his outfit. 
which is gorgeous and there's so much detail going on here. Then we've got really, really puffy sleeves here with individual little bits of detail going on here. They've got like little stitching patterns on them, crisscross stitching patterns, similar in design to the original Philip, but they've gone for different colors this time, which make it look a lot more silver and royal, very much more like a wedding. Philip's outfit is a faux leather outfit. It's very, very fitted and there's a lot of gold embellishment details on there. We've got the golden buttons, He's got this golden design on his belt buckle there and to me that looks like there's a load of berries along the top which I think is quite a cute little touch if that's correct and then there's a crown in the center and the belt itself is a faux leather brown his cuffs have got golden embroidery on there and it looks a lot like woodland kind of foliage and if we take a really close look at his hand you'll see on his finger there he has a ring which I think is Gorgeous. I love that we've given them rings. So we'll get to Aurora's in a bit, but there is Prince Philip's ring. And he's got this really long velvet cape. On the outside it's a velvet, and on the inside it's like a satin kind of finish. But it's a really dark, like mauve, I wanna say, or a wine color of the, of the outside of that. And then on the inside is this really nice royal red color. He has some standard black canvas trousers and his boots are quite simple as well but they've got a little bit of gold detailing on there. They aren't completely completely simple boots though. They do have this bit along the front which actually makes it look like they've been worn which I think is a nice touch. So you can see the front of that boot is a little bit scuffed up and as we go up the boot you can see there's a lot of little hidden designs on there. So it really does look like it's like a, a leather kind of material, even though it's not, it's completely plastic. On the inside of the boots, you can see there is some stitching type of pattern on there. So it looks as though they have been stitched, even though it is just sculpted plastic. So that is Prince Philip. Let's take a closer look at Aurora now. Just like with the Briar Rose Aurora doll, this Aurora has really, really purple eyes, which is interesting because at this point in the movie, she does not have purple eyes. Not that this is in the movie, this is a wedding scene where we're assuming this has happened after the movie, but she shouldn't have purple eyes at this point in time. They would be back to being blue. But I can forgive that because she still looks really, really stunning. She's got golden makeup details around the outside of her eyes, all the way around. She's got it on her eyelids and underneath her eyes. She's got rooted eyelashes as well and these really light pale brown eyebrows, which I think are very, very cute and subtle. The rose lips are not so rosy. They are very, very pink, which is nice because it's nice. I didn't notice either, but she's got some slight blush on her cheeks as well. And she has her classic curl just here, but this one isn't quite as tight or stuck to her head as I would usually like on my Aurora dolls. That's the sad thing about ordering online is that you can't pick the doll that you get, but she's still super, super stunning. And the good thing about the fact that the crown is not completely attached to her head is that I can really take a closer look at the hair braid that they've got there. So it's like a French plait and it's on both sides of her head. It's not just on this side, but we've also got a French braid or French plait, whatever you want to call it, on the other side as well, just over there. So even if she wasn't wearing a crown, she would have like a French plait crown, which I think is stunning because the movie was set in France. So to have a French braid kind of makes sense, I guess. The crown itself is gorgeous. It's got these little embellishments on there and jewels all around, all around the crown. So we've got like diamond shapes along the top. And then there's the little circular crystal jewels all the way around the top as well. And it's like a rose gold. So they're really going with a rose gold theme for this set. Looking at her necklace, her necklace is very similar to the original crown that she wore. Just flipped around the other way. And it's got three diamond, diamond shaped jewels in the middle of it. And this really gorgeous pattern which matches the, the embroidery on... Philip's cuffs. Looking at the dress, she's got a sweetheart neckline and more of these gorgeous floral and forest style embroidery details on there with a white tufty flower rose just here, which I think is very sweet. The dress itself has got lots of these little jewel embellishments on it all over the dress. So we've got it on the shoulder design there and then also further down onto the skirt part of the dress. There's loads of these little jewels and more of the embroidery details and it's all this like peachy 
rose gold kind of colour and then the dress detail underneath here has got even more floral pattern on it and it's all pinned into place with the little plastic tacks. If we take a closer look at their hands, we can see there is Aurora's wedding band on her finger there. She's got sheer sleeves in the same colour as the veil. The veil is a really light peach sort of colour and it's a layered veil so it goes down in little stages and then it gets it goes all the way down to the bottom just here but it's got lace details on the edge of the veil all the way along the edge along the outside and it does actually go down further than her golden hair. Her hair is absolutely stunning. I love the hair on this Aurora. She's got gorgeous golden sunshine hair just like it says in the film and her curls are held in place nicely there with some thread and just behind her, her arm and her hand there. But it's very, very nice, gorgeous, shiny golden hair. Aurora's skirt is very, very full. It's stuffed with tissue underneath there and it's layered quite well so it really, really does bunch out like a big poofy princess dress. And you can see those details are absolutely stunning. All the way around the front of the dress, you've got rose details, you've got floral print, you've got plants and leaves. And it's a mixture of rose gold and a light pastel gold. And then in amongst all of that are the silver jewels that they've got all over the place. Along the bottom of the dress, we've got a really nice satin pink uh, ribbon that's just finishing off the dress really really nicely just along the bottom that will go all the way around the dress but we can't see it on this side because it's tucked underneath just so we can see all of these details that we've got on there the two of the dolls together look absolutely stunning in this box the pattern on the back of the box or the the image on the back of the box is a really nice pale green and it's a mixture of these little pastel colors which are just absolutely stunning it really doesn't take away from the dolls at all and it really does let you focus on the quality and beauty of the dolls themselves underneath aurora's dress she is wearing a pair of peach kind of shoes they're simple standard shoes very very similar in design to the ones that briar rose is wearing so check out my other review if you want to see what those shoes look like but these ones are a peach color so they do match the dress and overall i think this set is absolutely gorgeous i just kind of wish that the crown on my Aurora was in place and not flapping around in the box. Other than that, I would say it's an absolutely gorgeous set. I love the redesign of Philip or the, the restyling of his hair. It looks so much better. I love that they've taken their creative liberties in making this set because we haven't seen Aurora in a wedding dress before. So this is a completely new design we've not seen before. And I think it's stunning, absolutely gorgeous. If you were to take the dolls out of the box and you wanted to repose them or anything, Philip has, I think, 11 points of articulation. So he's got the one around his neck, his shoulders, his elbows, his wrists, his hips and his knees. I don't think his feet are articulated. Aurora will also have 11 points of articulation. One around the neck, around the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, the hips and the knees and her feet won't be articulated. They will be standard just to fit those shoes so they won't move. I am absolutely blown away by this doll set. I love the collection. I love this whole Sleeping Beauty set and I'm really excited to see what the Disney store are going to bring out next. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. I hope you liked it. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on this set, if you're getting it, if you're not getting it. But yeah, let me know what you think. I will see you in my next video. I am gonna leave it right there. So, mwah. Bye. Well, that would make me happy. <laughs>